blessing of the Green Road Missionary Baptist Church. We thank you and we truly thank God for this opportunity. And real quick, y'all know I'm not going to be here too long. I want y'all to turn with me to Daniel, the first chapter. I'm going to start reading at verse 8. Belshazzar, okay, all right. 
All right, they even changed his name. But one thing about these Hebrew boys, and they, 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 they did all this, and they changed their names to get them to forget about their God that they worship, and they changed their names to make them worship that idol God that, that they served in Babylon. So they gave them Babylonian names. They, they, they gave them, they changed their name. But what I like about these with Daniel and his three friends, they did not stray away from God. Even though they were in a strange country, in a strange place, they stayed with God. Yeah. Now, now, how many of you know we, 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 we hear that saying, when in Rome, do what the Romans do, and they didn't do that. And, and young people, I, I'm kind of targeting y'all today because I want to let you know, whatever your friends are doing, whatever your peers are doing in school, and some grown folks, because we have some grown folks that ain't mature enough and strong enough to stick with what they believe. If, 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 if your parents or your foreparents have brought you up a Christian and being in you, and you know and if you just trust in God, everything is going to be all right. Don't worry about what your friends are doing. I know it looked like you see them with the finest clothes on. You say, well, I go to church every Sunday, and they tell me to pray, but I, I got on, instead of having on Nikes, I, I, I got on sites. So I got on these kids or these K-Swiss. I, I, I got on, I, I don't have on the Tommy, the Tommy Hill figure and all this good stuff that I see my friends on. I see them having fun, and I see them driving nice cars. But one thing about it, you don't know what they did to get what they got. Some of them might be out there caught up in things they have no business being caught up in. But, but if, you, if you think about Daniel, just think about Daniel and those three Hebrew boys. They stayed with God. And also, they, they not only changed their names, they, they tried, to, they tried to, to get them to partake in this meat and this wine that those type of people were drinking. And, and, and he told them, no, no, he, he, now one thing about Daniel, he was a smart man. They were smart. They did learn some of the things of this Babylonian, of these yeah. Babylonians and all that. So what, what I want to let you know, it's good to educate yourself because it just said that, that he was educated, he was smart. He did, he did some good things over there. And because of that, God had favor on him. By, by him learning those different things of, of that culture, he was looking, even though he was in captivity, that he, he was their favorite. He was their favorite. Yeah. He, he, he played many big parts over there in Babylon. Right. Now, now, but, but when it came to this point, he said, no, I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm not going to defile this temple right. with, with, with that mess y'all eating and drinking. And I want to I wanna flip that a little bit. That, 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 that we can look at, look at that as I'm, 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 I'm a Christian. I'm a, I'm a peculiar person. Amen. So I'm not going to do what they're doing. God chose me for a specific thing, and if I, may, if I mess this up, I might not have God's favor on my life. See, Daniel had, if you look at verse 9, it said God had brought Daniel into favor of the, of the princes of the eunuchs. He brought him into favor. So when, when, when you are praying, God has favor on your life. Even the people that hate you, they ain't got no choice but to love you. They ain't got no choice but, but, but to believe. I, I don't like that person, but it's something about them. They make me sick. But it's something about them. They always got their head up. They always smiling. They always, and, and it seems like they go through more hell than that. But one thing about it, the favor of God looks good on you. The favor of God looks good on you. Some of y'all been sick. You didn't know how you was going to get out. You had cancer, but you got pretty hair. And all your hair grew, grew back. And look at Reverend Holland here. He didn't have a stroke, but he can move along. He can move. He can still move. A little better than what he used to. I look at I look at the, at the at these mothers over here. As old as they are, they look at even though they may be older than age, but they don't look the age that they are because of God's favor. So, if you want the favor of God on your life, you got to stay with God, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you are dealing with. You got to stay with God. He. He, 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 Daniel mastered the teachings of, of this Babylonians. He mastered all that good stuff. So remember, young folk, ain't nothing wrong with going to school. Ain't nothing wrong with going to college because, of the, because we perish because of the lack of knowledge. So you, 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 got to, you got to know some of that stuff of the world. But do not partake into that stuff. You got to stay with God. Whatever your friends are doing don't mean you got to do it because God has chosen you for a certain purpose in your life. And if you participate in things you ain't supposed to participate in, he'll take his hand off of you for a little while. All right. Amen. If you be obedient, and that's all Daniel was doing right here, he said, I'm not going to eat that, that, that meat, and I ain't going to drink that stuff y'all drinking. 
And I'm pretty sure it looked good. It probably was some ribs, yeah. pork chops, <laughs> some roast, yeah. all that good stuff. And it, it probably was tempting him, but he said, y'all just give us some posts and some water, which means y'all just give us fruits, vegetables, all that good stuff of the herbs. And we're going to eat that for 10 days. Yeah. And then when we come back, take a look at us. And then take a look at your people. And what happened was, after those 10 days, they looked fatter. And they were more flourished than the people who ate the meat and drank the wine. They, 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 they looked more, more pretty in the face. They didn't have no wrinkles. They didn't have no arthritis. None of that good stuff. Because you do know some of the stuff you eat can't cause the health to go down. Huh? But they only did it for 10 days, so every so often, I'm talking to myself too, because I got to do better with my eating. You, 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 you ought to take some time out and go on a little fast and clean yourself up just a little bit. See how you can do for about two, three days with just some fruit, some vegetables, and some water. And then when you get a little stronger, you might even go seven days. Then when you get a little stronger, see, you got to take baby steps. That's what most people mess up with these fans. They try to do too much at one time. If you got to go two, three hours without a little meat or whatever or, and just drink some water and eat some fruit, start like that. Then you can go on to a day or so. Then maybe two days. Then maybe three days. And build yourself up. See, it, it, we, y'all got to remember, we human. We flesh. So we got, we got, we got to, we got, we can't just totally ignore the body. You got to do what thus said the Lord. Yeah. God gave you five good senses too. And they, when they came back after those ten days, they looked so good. And, and, and the people and, and the princes of the eunuch said, oh, we're going to take away this meat and stuff, and we're going to try that what they doing. Okay. But all they did was obedient to God. And even though they were in Babylon, right. even though they were in a strange place, yeah. even though they saw all this stuff going on, we got to do like Daniel and the three Hebrew boys did. We, we, we got to, we got to, even though we're in this world, but we can't partake of the things of this world. Right. We can't do what the drug dealers are doing. Right. We can't do what the adulterers are doing. Right. We can't do what the fornicators are doing. Right. Because the wages of sin is death. Right. That's what in Sunday school. But the gift of God is eternal life. Yeah. And if you stay with God, yeah. Because I see so many young, especially the young people, I see on social media how folks I went to school with, I know grew up in the church, but they get swayed by every win and doctrine because they feel like there ain't no God. But I got news for you, baby. You didn't get this far on your own. You didn't get this far by trusting in yourself. You didn't get this far by trusting in Muhammad. You didn't get this far by trusting in Buddha. He didn't create you. He didn't make you, but the one and true God I need you to stick with him, and I need you to stay with him, and then he will have, you will have favor on your life if you do these things. Now, if, if you don't believe me, look at Daniel. They tried to trap him by his, his schedule of praying. They tried to, to, they tried to put him in a box, but what I like about Daniel, everything that they threw at him, he still stayed with God. He didn't hide. He went to a balcony and went down on his knees, and he prayed to God anyhow. And they threw him in the lion's den. Yeah. But when you got favor in your life, yeah. no matter what the enemy throws at you, yeah. God will bring you out without a scratch. Yeah. Look at the three Hebrew boys. Yeah. They decided that they were going to stay with God. Yeah. They didn't bow down to the king of Babylon. Yeah. And they threw them in the fiery furnace. Yeah. And they came out without a scratch, without a burn, not even with their hair smelling like smoke. That's what the favor of God will do to you. Now, when you got favor on your life, it ain't going to be easy all the time. You're going to have to go through some stuff. You're going to have to deal with some stuff. But if you keep on trusting and keep on believing and stay with God, can't nothing touch you. Can't nothing do you no harm. When you got favor on your life, he said, I gave you power to tread up on scorpions. And nothing, no evil, will do you no harm. Can I get a witness in here? Job had faith on his life because he stayed with God. Lost everything he had, his wife and his children. Lost all his money and his cattle. But in chapter 42, because he stayed with the Lord, chapter 42, verse 10 says, God turned the captivity of Job.
told him, gave him double for his trouble. All you got to do is stay with the Lord. And I tell you a reason why I'm going to stay with him. Because he didn't give up on me. So I got to repay him back by giving him all the glory.